Hey everybody! So I'm back with another one of my Lexington Comic and Toy Convention of 2016 unboxing videos. Uh, this is technically a part two. Um, what this is, <laughs> and I'll explain in just a second, is BAM! So I'm going to put that picture up over my face so you can read it. Comic-Con Mega Grab Box. Um, yeah, so this is the one that everybody was really seemed to be most interested in because I saw a lot of people walking around with these and excited for them. And I can kind of see why after my first one. Uh, so you may want to watch that video because I may spoil stuff if I get duplicates or whatever. Or maybe that doesn't matter in unboxing videos. That's, that's your personal preference. But what's interesting about these is they were going so fast that literally there's like a guy behind a curtain who's having to make these for people. <laughs> You're having to sit there and wait like two or three minutes per box. Which is totally fine, and after seeing what's in the first one, I'm completely happy to do that. So, uh, basically, it was $20 for one or $35 for two, so I got two. And it's a box containing at least ten items that may include toys, gaming items, shirts, manga, comic books, graphic novels, DVDs, minifigures, Funko items, jewelry, retro and modern video games, and more. And I tell you, I didn't get quite all that stuff in the last box. There was a lot of trading cards, but they were actually kind of cool, a lot of them. But I got a bunch of comics, I got a bunch of, uh, I got some manga, and that cool Funko action figure, and a bunch of other neat little things. So, I'm hoping this is a little bit different. You know, I'd like to maybe see, I don't know, some, some toy, other toys, or minifigs, or even a game, but actually, I'm pretty cool with the last one. So, maybe as long as they give me some more cool Batman comics, or whatever, you know, I don't even really care. It was just really neat what all was in that box. So, I'm kind of anxious to get into the second one. Um, so I guess without further ado, let me, uh, you know, I almost said the let's get ready to rumble thing, and I probably should have, that might have been more interesting than taking a drink. Anyways, you know the drill, I'm going to open it a little bit, I'm going to try to do my little feel around and see what we get in here, and I'll try to do this a little quicker than the last video, but there was just so much stuff in there, it turned out. So much like the last one, we've got a bunch of the stuff that's in a big ziploc shrink shrink-wrap bag. Um, okay, we got some kind of tin this time in, instead of what was the Funko thing. So this might be a, one of those three pack of Pop Minis, which I don't have, oh, uh, I hope it's not the Walking Dead one because I've got that, although I could definitely turn that into a gift. Uh, so what is it? What do we got? No, totally something different. Interesting. Uh, it's, it's not, no matter what it's going to be, that's actually a really sweet tin, Lord of the Rings Return of the King tin. So this is the Lord of the Rings tin includes. Three Lord of the Rings action flips with a Z, action flip packs, flips packs, and two bonus action flips, two action flips and one sticker pack by Artbox. So is it kind of is it going to be kind of almost like a little minifigure thing? You know what this thing? I don't know. I, I, I I'm curious. It sounds like there may be some cards or something too, but it might kind of be like a gaming minifigure. So let's let's see what's in here. Okay, it's definitely cards. So. Okay, so flip packs. Oh, and then, okay, so these flips are uh, little, uh, what do they call them, lenticular kind of deals? Yeah, the lenticular 3D things. Woo! Uh, so those are fun. And then, yeah, you get like three packs of the cards, and then you get, looks like a whole bunch of styrofoam. <laughs> oh, yeah, which is the best part, as we all know. Um, no, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Like I said, I really like this tin, so that's absolutely usable. And these things are pretty cool. I guess they are for a game, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, coming, coming November 2003, 60 collectible 3D action flips from the Lord of the Rings plus special insert action flips and stickers. So, actually, is this even a game? I'm not even sure this is actually a game. I think this is just, yeah, this is just lenticular collectibles. Um... That's cool, though, because, you know, I was thinking if there were stickers or something, it'd be better, but you could, like, kind of put all these in a shadow box or something and, and, and hang it on a wall, so that might be kind of neat to do. That's cool. I'm down with that. All right, now, as I learned the last time, this plastic bag in here is actually a Ziploc bag, so instead of tearing a giant hole in it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I'm kind of feeling around. Okay, there's another thing that kind of feels like the last thing we opened out of the last box, which was a card game. There's definitely maybe another manga in here. I think I got some stickers. Some kind of maybe blind bag, little toy, little minifig. That almost feels like a CD, so that may be some kind of game. Bunch of books, some loose, there's a keychain thing. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. Uh, let's see, let's, let's get to what, maybe these stickers so we can just kind of get the lesser things out of the way. They're so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh these are incredible. These are incredible. 
So they're loose, the stickers from, you know, the vintage 1980s Ninja Turtles cartoons, but it's Leo, my favorite, and a group shot, and they're the big stickers, and, and they do the puzzle building thing on the back, so, oh, those are cool. Those are going to get stuck somewhere, somewhere really neat. There may be more of those in here, you know, as we found with the card packs last time, you just keep pulling stuff out of this thing. Definitely yet again, oh, that's cool, whatever that is, De <laughs> definitely yet again a lot more stuff in here than just 10 items, as they said that could be. There's definitely here's some card packs. Let's uh, let's go through these. Hey, we got another VR Troopers. This is Ryan Steele. So if these are from the same year, this is they're collect four, and I got two different ones in the other box. This should be a third one. I may end up with a complete set <laughs> of something I don't know anything about. Again, if you know what VR Troopers is, show me in the comment in the comments. It's a Saban thing, the Power Rangers guy. So it feels like it's from that era, but probably just a knockoff, and I missed it. I don't know. Uh, and we got more of these Huntix. Hunting things, so I'm guessing uh, everybody got a bunch of these. But, you know, there was like three packs of these and the other thing, so if it's a fun game, it's some CW show, you can tell me about it. I don't, I don't know what it is. But if it's a fun game, I'll end up with enough packs, I could actually do something with it. Oh yeah, the cards are just kind of buried under here this time, so let's, let's pull a bunch of these up here. Let's get through all the card packs. Alright. Oh, and here we go. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Fleer. Oh, I forgot about Fleer. Are they still around? Interesting. Six cards. That was the first movie. That was actually pretty cool. I was never a huge Power Rangers fan, but I could get behind some of it. And we got, uh, oh, okay, Jeb. I'm pretty sure I got Jeb in the other set. So I may not end up with a complete set, but again, I don't know what it is, so who knows. All right, another one. <laughs> I got two Jebs in the same pack. Okay, but I mean, sometimes that happens. There's a lot of these things in here. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm moving a little faster this time, aren't I? And another Jeb? Okay, so maybe the vertical ones are different from the, or the horizontal ones are different from the vertical ones. But anyways, I got two of the verticals and two of the horizontals, so. That's got something in it. That, that may not be, I don't know what that is. We'll put that aside for later. All right, what's this? Another set of Power Rangers movie cards. So this could be cool. This could be cool. If you guys want to see me do unboxing videos on the cards, I'll gladly do them for you. You just got to hit me up in the comments. All it takes is one of you. All you got to do, just one of you comment, and then I'll comment back, thanks, okay, yeah, cool, I'll hit you up with the links when it's live. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Ryan Steele. I think I didn't get that one in the other one, so I may end up with three of, of the, uh, that series, if they are, in, that, in fact, different series. Uh, see, I tossed that one thing to the side, but there may be some more card packs in here I just didn't find yet, but uh, I think I got most of all of them. There's a loose action figure there, some kind of, feels almost like a mystery mini. It's not vinyl, it's got moving parts, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out what is probably a manga. Again, it has that same feeling. I just hope it's a different one. Oh, it is not. It's the exact same one that was in the other box. Okay, that's, that's really disappointing. Because, you know, I don't really own any manga, and I want to get into some. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! I, th I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh, the movie. Uh, and it comes with a, an exclusive card inside. And, I mean, it's, you know, it's a full manga. It's really nice, full-color stuff. I'm just, I'm just let down because it's the exact same one I got in the other box. And that was a big part of what made the other box very a good value for me. So, a uh, wee bit, dis wee bit disappointed. Oh, that, hmm. No, no Eric. Bad Eric. Bad Eric. Uh, let's see, we got some loose, like, paper. It's, it's like it's like it's a comic book cover, but without a comic book? What is this? Okay, a piece of a print? Oh, no? Okay, well, it is Warner Brothers. Oh, Harry Potter. So I guess it's a, it's a print of a Dementor hand coming in through your window. For a second, I was like, is this some kind of interpretation of a redo of Creepshow? <laughs> Actually, I like that. That's a cool piece of art. And it is like a photo print, so this is like the kind of thing you would have signed, I guess, at a convention. So maybe that's what this other, yeah, there's, a, there's another one. Feels like that. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah. So this is from, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't have the year, so I can't tell exactly which, but it's clearly one of the kind of earlier Harry Potter ones. So again, you know, just a big 8x10 photo kind of thing that you would get signed if you were meeting them at conventions. That's, that's, that's cool. Don't love it, don't hate it. Is there another one, or is that a comic? I think we got a comic. Let's see what this comic is. I don't think there's very many comics in here at all. Maybe this, this may be the only one. Supreme Power Hyperion. Max Comics. Limited Series. Two of five. Ooh, it's an explicit adult content. Don't know anything about it, but I'm willing to give, get, willing to give it a try, even though it's issue number two. 
But they may have issue number one in here. You know, they were pretty good about that in the last box. And there may be some. Yeah, there's, there's a few comics in here. I don't think there's going to be the whole nine that we had in the last box that were all awesome. Yeah, what do we got? Okay, good. Here, well, here's four of five. Supreme Power Hyperion. Okay, so uh, just to give a time frame, I, mean, I don't remember the year, but it's around the time uh, Mila Jovich and Ultraviolet. Yeah, still not seeing a year on there. But so it's issue two of five and issue four of five. Mm, there's a, okay, there's at least two more comics, three more comics. Yeah, three more comics. So maybe I got the whole series. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, good. At least I got issue number one. So <laughs> I can do one and two, and hopefully number three will be in there. Maybe they gave me one, two, and three, and four, and then I got to somehow go find part five, and it'll be like $2,000. So, well, that might be the case, because this is not that, that run. This is Dr. Spectrum, also from Max Comics, also explicit. This is number six. But it looks interesting. So I'll, be, I'll definitely give that one a shot. There is one more comic in here, though, so hopefully it's the high period number three. Nope, another Dr. Spectrum. So, okay, so this is number five. So both of these, I'm going to be very much missing chunks and confused, I suppose. But still, can't complain. I mean, what are those comics running? Those are like $3 comics, and there was five of them there. So I mean, there's already like 15 bucks if you bought them in the store. So that's definitely a deal. There's a lot of like loose little knickknacks in here too, which is cool. Oh, I think I found another. That's it's not quite a card pack. And that's some kind of. Listen, here's another loose card. Maybe it's another. Oh yeah, we got another Ninja Turtle sticker. Ooh, Mikey on the skateboard. Awesome, awesome guys, awesome. And there's yeah okay, so there's like key, kind of a sealed keychain kind of thing. There's like a CD, so that's probably a game. There's another uh, probably one of those. So I'll check that out in a minute. There's like a loose keychain, a loose action figure, and then there's a big piece of cardboard, something in the bottom, so I don't know what that's going to be. And then we got something off to the side, a couple little packs. Okay, we're almost through it. So yeah, okay, we got Wrath. So actually, everybody but Donnie, who may be in there, and I just haven't found him yet. Yeah, those are old. I can, like, the, the, the dust is just clogging on my fingers, man. This is another good one. Um... I don't think this box is quite as strong yet it could get there as the other one because I think that uh, Funko, the, even though it was Magic the Gathering and I don't know anything about it, but it was a really high-end figure, So, and there was a lot more comics. But, you know, maybe this stuff here in the bottom will really blow my socks off. So let's see what this... It's not really a keychain. It's got one of those plastic keychain things, and it feels kind of broken, and then it feels almost like a button without the pin back is what the thing is. So what is it? Oh, Robin. Got the Robin logo. Oh, and actually it's not broken, it was just uh, out. That's kind of cool, like a hanger, I guess. What is that what they call them? Little hanger thing? Is that working or is that, is that me just, there you go. Now you can see it, so I'll put that on something. I'm down for that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I thought I threw something off to the side, now I don't, I'm not feeling where it went. <laughs> oh well, maybe we got to it. Um, save that. Ah. Oh, we got another hanger thing, and then some kind of package something there. Let's do the hanger thing, see what another one is, what this one is. Oh, we got the Flash. Oh, that's cool. I've, because of the TV series, you know, I was always into the Flash as a kid, but because of the TV series, I'm, like, becoming a huge Flash fan. So I'm really getting into that, and it's making me want to go read more and more of the comics so I can find them. Okay, I got something in a, oh my god, I got a little bag here that feels like something that could be Pogs, if you remember those. Those might be, are they? Court caps. Is that like an off off thing of pogs? Nemesis. These look kind of hand drawn. <laughs> Nemesis Brawler, it says on the back, is one of them. Created by Daniel Cooney. So I don't know. Fascinating, I suppose. I'll have to check those out. I'll at least open them and look. Or if you guys want an unboxing video for that, or an opening video. What would you actually call that? I don't know. In that case, I don't know. Oh, there's another hanger thing in here. Oh, okay, there's that thing I was looking for. All right, let's see what the other hanger is. Oh, we got two of the Flash. Well, it's a good thing I love the Flash. That's okay. I know plenty of people who love the Flash, so that'll be a good little drop into somebody else's butts box. That's uh, I do butts boxes, right? Uh, that's I like to do my own curated mystery boxes to their specific taste as gifts for my friends. So, because <laughs> I enjoy opening these mystery boxes so much, it's fun to kind of create them for people I know too. 
So here's something that feels like it's in a card uh, package, but it only feels like maybe a card, and then there's something solid in there. <laughs> Could just be broken gum, I don't know. Oh, it's a dog tag, okay. Uh, Bakugan. New Vestroia. Look for special gold dog tags, huh? Cartoon Network. All right, what do you guys think? What do you think? The odds? I'm just going to tear into it because I want to see if I got the special gold ones. I never get the special anything. <laughs> That's because I'm so special, I don't need them. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, that doesn't seem to be anything gold. But, you know. That's all right. That's cool. What's the sticker look like? Maybe I dig the sticker. Is the sticker the card? Okay, it's just that. Meh. It's essentially, it's, well, I think that's a big version of the sticker. There's a small one you can peel out of the back, too, and a collect all thing in the package. And, eh, you know, that's okay. Cool. Again, there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's just, you know, it's not all great. <laughs> all right, let's see what this big cardboard thing is before we get into some of this other stuff. I'm wondering if this is like, you know, the other thing I got that I have no idea what it's supposed to be. It feels the same size. Is it the same? At least it's somebody different. Vader, join the dark side. And it has a little hole, so I guess you're just supposed to hang these? Like on string or wire or something? Let them dangle from something? If anybody has any ideas, let me know, because they're clearly just a, an image on cardboard. I mean, it's a cool image. It's just like, but, but what? What am I doing with this? <laughs> what is its purpose? What is its function in life? Okay, yep, so pull everything out of the Ziploc, but I've moved a few things to the, to the end I wanted to look at last, so... Let's do... Well, we got another thing that feels kind of like that did, but instead of dog tags, it almost feels like a little figure. So, what is it? Okay, Micro Icon, Series 1. Uh, so, it's a little blind bag figure. There's no real indicator as to what all your options are or anything, so... We'll just crack this one open real, fit, real quick and see what we got. Alright, who did we get? I guess we got the biker. The polite biker. We have to go to a photo on that one, possibly. Interesting. So, uh, micro icons. There's a whole set of punks. There's a whole set of bikers. There's a whole set of commandos. Soul, soul jazz, like J A H S. So, I guess that, yeah, it's supposed to be kind of rappers. These are not like actual people, they're just kind of versions of them, caricatures. Mexican wrestlers, kung fu. This kind of reminds me a little bit of muscle men, but just painted and a lot more of them, and a lot more variety. This is something I could have, you know, when I was a kid, I probably would have absolutely loved these. I could almost get into these now. I wonder, it didn't say specifically bikers, no. Because, uh, I'm, you know, I'm a big punk rock guy, so I would love to have all the punk ones. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, oh, we got that we can look at. And that. Alright, so we're down to four items, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Again, this was like a 20, uh, technically a $17.50 box, and there's a ton of stuff in here. This one may not quite be as valued, valuable as the other one, but close. Uh, okay, so we got another version of the dog tags and stuff, and well, you know me, I gotta see. I know, this is, this is taking a while, sorry. <laughs> ah, there we go. Since I know the sticker ain't all that, I figure, okay, so. Again, same kind of deal with that. Did I get gold dog? No, I did not get gold dog tags, so. But, you know. Meh. Only like a buck if you buy them in the store, so. Alright. Alright, so let's open this thing that may be like, I think it's a card game. I think it's the same thing I got in the other box. It is Neopets Trading Card Game. Cast. One player theme deck. Battle for Meridel. But you know the nice thing about getting both of these, actually? Is, uh, since we had two of them, it's a set for one player, so I've got enough for two players, so maybe we ought to play this game. Would that, would anybody be interested in seeing that as a video? Maybe me and Mary or somebody, like, we get together and figure out how to play this and see if we can have any fun with it? What do you guys think? Comment on me? Let me know. Yeah? No? Yeah? I'm probably going to do it anyways, but if you tell me yes, I'll be a lot ha faster doing it. Okay, I'm going to save what's probably a game for last, and uh, I'm going to do this open figure. His, his arms are kind of doing this, like he's punching and they can swing around. He's got a meaty head. I don't know, he's, he's interesting. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, some kind of gorilla. Oh, is it Lego? Is that... Oh, wait, is this Lego Gorilla Grodd? Is that what this is supposed to be? No, that, I don't know that, that that's not Lego. It's Lego-like, and it's Gorilla Grodd. Maybe it's, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Mega Blocks, maybe? Anyways, that's definitely Gorilla, 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 gorilla Grodd. That is awesome. 
That is cool, though. That is cool. Bah, bah, bah. Actually, very happy with that. Very happy. All right, so, so all can be said and done. Let's see what we got. We got... <laughs> it's actually a DVD. Mwah. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. Crucial Collection DVD includes previews of Season 4, music videos, and key battle scenes. So, you don't even get episodes or anything. It's just one of those, I don't know. I don't know, but maybe, you know, after reading the manga or before reading the manga, maybe that'll get me in the mood. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that, that's everything out of this one. Okay, so I got two boxes back to back. Uh, the first one with the sign that's actually on it was the last one he had on the shelf. The other one he had to make for me, I think. I think he had to make both, actually. Yeah, he had to make both, but either way, the first one, way cooler. The second one, mm, it's okay. Uh, I wish I'd opened in the other order. There's a lot of stuff in this one that, I mean, it's, you know, it's not as much, not, nowhere near as much stuff as it was in the first one. I do love Gorilla Grodd. I like the idea that we got two of that card game so we can try it. The Lord of the Rings 10 is very cool. The Lenticulars could be cool. Love the Ninja Turtle stickers. Uh, you know, and some very good comics. But, you know, eh. And the cards are a little weaker in this one, but still, overall, I dug it. Did you guys dig it? I know this went really long. Sorry for that. I mean, there was a ton of stuff. Uh, but let me know in the comments. Uh, let's talk about it. Anything here that you think I should like more than I do? You want to educate me? I'd love to hear it. I'd like to learn. Especially about geeky stuff I don't know about. Uh, you know, give me that thumbs up if you think I'm worth it. I think I'm worth it. Mm, why can't you? <laughs> uh, but really, hit that subscribe button because that's what I do this for. I, I just, I want, I, want to, I want to build a fan base and I want to please that fan base. I want to give you what you want. And I want to have fun doing it. And so let's all have fun together like we do and I do when I open these. So without further ado, the words you've probably been waiting for, later.